change and how to get the world to buy in. The world's botanical garden leaders are in St. Louis at the Missouri Botanical Garden to prevent the extinction of tens of thousands of plant species. And our first alert for is David Amelotti sat down with the Jordanian princess about the global plan taking root in St. Louis. We have no choice. Um, it's evident uh, in the extreme weather events that we see all across the globe. Um, things are not looking good, so we have to commit to this wholeheartedly. That's why Her Royal Highness Princess Basma bin Ali of Jordan and other global leaders in conservation are in, of all places, St. Louis. Plants are the essential element in life on Earth. And so we want to make sure that our new strategy, the global strategy for plant conservation, is in line with uh, the times that we're living in. Her Royal Highness is an advocate of biodiversity conservation. In 2005, she founded the Royal Botanic Garden in Jordan, which hosts a third of the nation's native plants. She says without the help of the Missouri Botanical Garden over the years, many of her nation's plants would be extinct. That's something uh, that I'm happy about. I want to strive for more and I hope to. This week, the Global Strategy for Plant Conservation, or the GSPC, will target restoring biodiversity to the world, meeting climate change targets, and conserving rare and endangered species in their natural habitats and botanical gardens. No one is going to take a title, no one is going to take their PhD or their medals with them when, they're, when they transition to the next world. But the only thing you can leave behind is a better world for your children and your future. The GSPC was first adopted by the international community in 2002, with 16 targets for plant conservation to be achieved by 2020. Since 2020, the group has been working alongside countries worldwide on a new set of plant conservation actions to stop the loss of plant species worldwide. So you can have the policymakers doing the policy and you can have the local communities, but if there's no communication between the two, we will not succeed. Her Royal Highness's message to St. Louis, take your passion for conservation and share it with our children. We need to engage the future generations. They're enamored by the social media. They're enamored by the virtual world. But without plants, without nature, there's no life. David Amelotti reporting there. Missouri Botanical Garden President Dr. Peter Wise Jackson says St. Louis should be proud. The garden is able to influence policy at the global level. The princess and other leaders will present this plant conservation strategy for adoption to the United Nations in October.